No degree in graphic design, not creative, no Photoshop, no worries. I have two secret weapons that I use to create my own social media graphics across platforms, and more importantly, I use them to create my custom YouTube thumbnails. Having your own custom thumbnails is a small detail that makes a big difference, and take it from me. Once I started creating my own custom thumbnails and having a distinct brand across all of my videos that was easily recognizable, I saw an increase in subscribers, in views, and also in conversions, and it was quite significant. So this is a small little thing that you can do to immediately see results. As I mentioned, there's two platforms. You can use these individually and just use one over the other. It's completely up to you. I just found for my own YouTube custom thumbnails, I like to use a combination of both. But the two tools are Canva and PicMonkey. And Canva has a bunch of templates that you can use and is a little bit more robust as a tool and has some more options available. So you may choose to just stick with that one. Either way, these two platforms are going to make your life so much easier. So let's get started. This is my exact process for creating my YouTube custom thumbnails. I go to PicMonkey.com, go to edit, open up my screenshot, which I just take from my video. And then I go to crop, create your proportions. So it's 1920 by 1080. Those are the proportions of uh, YouTube screenshots and custom thumbnails. So I apply the crop and then I go to the overlays. I go to geometric, the Rectangle with the rounded edges is what I always use. So I go here and I create a little bit of a fade on it. Make it big enough so I can fit the text in it. Perfect. And then I go to text and I always use the same text which is Francois 1, I think that's how you say it. Uh, and I always use a dark gray. So we'll say how to create custom thumbnails. Custom YouTube thumbnails. We'll move this. And I'll make it a little bit lighter so it matches the rest of them. Okay, so I go save. Custom, save to my computer, save to the desktop, and then I go into Canva, and like I said, you can literally find any template you want on here, and you can create your own. So right now I'm going to create my own, so 1920 by 1080, that's the size you need for a YouTube thumbnail. And then I'm going to upload. Oops, custom. Drag and drop. I'm not sure why it doesn't exactly fit, but it does this to me every time. But still, you can just stretch it out and it looks, it doesn't alter it or distort the image at all. And then I'm going to add in, let's add in a little YouTube icon. You can look in the search and these are all free. So let's add in this guy. And that's your custom thumbnail. And then I go download, save it as an image. And then you go to YouTube, go to your video manager, and let's say I want to change the um, screenshot or the custom thumbnail on this video. So I'll go to edit and you can change the image here 
and I would just go to that untitled image and there you go that changes your custom thumbnail to exactly what you want and you can do this with any video on YouTube whether you've already uploaded it or do it for all videos moving forward I hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, please share it with your friends, hit the like button below, and be sure to subscribe because I make new video marketing and social media tutorials every single week. If you have a request for a video, make sure you leave it in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.